We here at Columbia, as one of the sites for the CAUSE Network, are enrolling patients with asthma, children with asthma, into clinical trials that are of biologic therapies that are really revolutionizing asthma care in this country. Air pollution is a huge issue that influences child health and specifically in my field of pediatric pulmonology. We see higher rates of asthma in neighborhoods like in Washington Heights where children are exposed to greater concentrations of air pollution um, and other neighboring communities including in the Bronx where many of the children that we care for uh, come from. There are a number of things that Columbia is doing to help address this issue, particularly within our Department of Pediatrics. I have been partnering with an organization called Futures Ignite, which advocates for environmental justice, particularly here in the Washington Heights community. We've embarked on a study to help the students in this neighborhood think about how to measure air quality in their community and really advocate to improve air quality in their neighborhoods. So this summer we're launching a project where we're going to have the students wear a monitor like this that measures in real time air pollution concentrations and then they'll be able to take those data back to city officials to really advocate to improve the neighborhood um, around their school. So this project is really cool because it's driven by the students and so what we're hoping to do is to help them generate the data that they can take to their city officials and really advocate to pedestrianize this street adjacent to their school, eliminate street traffic, and really beautify the neighborhood. To see the students in the school who are like really excited about being citizen scientists and learning about their environment and learning about their health, it really gives me hope for future generations. I think these are the people who are gonna go out there and, and really help to move the needle in terms of health inequity.